again. Talking to you guys from Munster, Germany. Ready to shoot a quick video for you guys here and give you guys a precious tip about transferring the weight well when you hit your close stance ground stroke. Yeah, but it's an art that, you know, it's better to hit the open stance nowadays. Some balls, you're gonna have to hit the close stance, folks. The shorter ball, it doesn't make sense for you to be here, get that short ball and run in, and then hit it open stance like this. You know, the close, shorter ball really calls for the close stance on both sides, okay? So, it's important for you to emphasize the shifting of the weight to the front foot when you have the close stance on a short ball. I have some clients emailing me or even I've seen it alive in person when I first meet the people to work with them alive and uh, check out their ground strokes and I feed them a shorter ball and they run in to hit it and then when they're about to hit they stop and lean back and don't have the correct weight transference forward. It all looked like, you know, from the distance here, so you can really see my feet too, it looks like they're this. They transfer the weight too soon, they didn't hit yet, and then when they're hitting, they're leaning back already. Side view, you're gonna see something like this. The person shifts the weight too soon, and then when they're hitting, they're going backwards. Once again, you got that anxiety to finish your stroke and already be ready for the next one. But you didn't finish the stroke well. You really need to get this weight forward. It's the same thing on the backhand, both the one-handed and the two-handed. You see people that they step in and when they're about to hit, they're pulling the weight back. One-handed two, the weight's going back. You got the side view there, you're gonna see that as I prepare to hit, I shift my weight in, but I didn't hit it yet. And then as I'm hitting, I'm going back. Two-handed looks like this. I call it the disco stroke, you know, because in the old day, disco take you to dance like this. You know, so I joke around with my students, hey, you're hitting that disco shot again in which you got the weight on the heels and you're falling backwards. You're not gonna hurt your opponent with that. There's no, you know, body weight transference. It's just an arm swing and it's just a little slap. So instead of punching, you're slapping. So here's a million dollar tip for you guys to make sure that you're transferring your weight well. I tell my students, hey, when you're out there practicing, hit some flamingo shots. The flamingo shot really requires transference of weight to the front leg. What is a flamingo? Flamingo, you see the bird standing there a lot of times on one leg like this. Yeah? You got a flamingo standing on one leg, maybe he gets tired and he switches and he goes on the other leg now. So, a flamingo shot is nothing more than you shifting your weight to the front leg and taking your back foot off the ground for a split second. So as you're hitting, Maybe you're gonna compromise a little bit your balance there as you're striking the ball. But on the other hand, you are educating your brain to really transfer the weight to the front foot. Because if you lean back without the back leg, you're gonna fall. The flamingo shot makes you really step in on it. So you get the side view of the forehand there. Here we go, you got the, my flamingo shot right here. And I'm shifting my weight forward as I do it. Two-handed backhand, shifting my weight forward. One-handed backhand, shifting my weight forward. Lefties, you all left-handers out there? All right, demonstration for you guys. Let's see the side view of my forehand there. I'm gonna lift the left leg up when I do the transfers of weight forward. One-handed backhand looks like this. The two-handed backhand looks like this. All right, guys, I know it's kind of silly and funny, you know, at first when you hear about it, but if you go out there and practice and you take the back foot off the ground when you hit, you're really gonna feel that your weight has to go forward and suddenly you start feeling, hey, I'm stepping in better. I'm transferring my weight into the shot. You do that a few times and then after you pre repeat it, you know, and start getting the muscle memory of it and, and getting more used to it, then you can easily just leave the foot down on the ground again for a better balance. And you, there you go. You got your weight being transferred forward every single time. Okay, guys? So, once again, well, maybe I do a couple shots here before we finish this video. So, that way you guys know that it really can be done. So here you go, close stance, shorter ball. I go into the flamingo position to make sure that I have my weight transferred. One-handed backhand, same thing. I go, uh, and get my foot out. Two-handed backhand, ah. Uh. I get the lefty guys, all right. Let's do a lefty forehand here. When I hit, I right, get this foot out. Ball is a little bit low. Let's do it another one. So I want to get it in the court. 
Here we go. Oh, all right, that was decent. And then, to finish, you got your two-handed backhand to the lefty, and you'll get this foot out. And then on the one-handed, there you go. All right, guys, to transfer your weight well on the close stance, practice some flamingo shots, and you will get it done. All right. I know, that was a funny one. Cheers. It's a wrap. I'll see you guys next time. Somewhere from here in Europe. All right, take care.